Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to look at how to put a little bit of art into your photos. Now hopefully you have a good photo to start with. I recently came back from a trip from New York and I really love the fact that all the cabs were yellow. But I do like the black and white effect in New York. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these photos. There is a black and white with the New York cab, a yellow cab of course. The next one we have is the Statue of Liberty in all of her greenness, but of course everything else is black and white. And last but not least, a train in the train yard with a black and white skyline. Let's go ahead and show you how this works. You can look over under your layers palette and you can see that I have two of these adjustment layers, the black and white cookie tools. I'll go ahead and take these off and show you that it is a colored picture and then we add those two and we just have yellow so it's a little bit of magic there and of course once again in our cab photo we can do the same thing it's a color photo and then we just added a few things and it becomes a black and white with color let's go ahead and do this in Photoshop elements it works the same way as it does in Photoshop except in Photoshop you have a little bit of a better choice with channel mixer I'm going to go ahead and open this in Photoshop Elements. I'm going to show you how to do this. Now what we need to do is once we have our picture open, we go down to the bottom black and white cookie tool, and we're going to use the Hue and Saturation tool. And you can see under the Hue and Saturation adjustments that you have a master color, and then you have all these other colors part of the color wheel. Now one thing that we know is this is fairly close to a cyan color. It's a little bit on the greenish side but it's kind of a cyan color. So what we want to do first is we want to go to the cyans. You get a choice here of the little eyedropper, eyedropper plus and eyedropper minus. If you select the eyedropper plus and you come over here and you select all over the Statue of Liberty it is going to select all the colors that the Statue of Liberty is. So now what we need to do is we need to go to every other color level here and remove the saturation so here we're going to remove all the magentas then we're going to remove all the blues then we're going to remove all the greens now remember we don't want to remove the cyans because we've already adjusted that then we're going to remove all the yellows and last but not least we're going to remove all the reds now, it's kind of getting to where we want, but you notice that there are still a few blues in here. Now, let's go back to the cyan color. We need to make sure that we add all the colors of cyan here. So, I'm going to make sure that I add all the colors here of the Statue of Liberty. So, there we go. Now, the problem is, is that this color, this guy with this shirt and this person right here with a little bit of blue, they have more colors that are very close to the Statue of Liberty. So what we need to do is we need to add another adjustment layer. We're going to add the black and white one or we're going to add another one where we just take out all of the saturation. So if I go over here under Hue and Saturation on our second layer, this time we're going to go to the master and we're going to zap out all of the color. Now you can see that the whole thing is black and white now. So what we need to do is we need to punch a hole and we can do that with a paintbrush right here making sure that we have black in our palette and about a brush that's as big as the Statue of Liberty here I can paint just around the Statue of Liberty. Now we don't want to sit there and we don't want to paint that guy's shirt and we don't want to paint that little boy's sleeve either. So now that I have this painted, what that's going to do is any other area that kind of has the very similar color to the Statue of Liberty, it's going to turn all of that black and white, and wherever we have the black, it's going to show through. Let me go ahead and turn the eyeball off, and you can see that, remember, we have these colors here, and I added another hue and saturation layer right above this to get rid of all the other ones, and then I punched a hole where the Statue of Liberty is. All right, we're going to do the same thing with the train photo. I have the train photo right here. I'm going to drag it down to Photoshop Elements. I'm going to go ahead and open that in Photoshop Elements. And you can see right here, 
that the train is nice and yellow. We're going to go to the black and white cookie tool. We're going to go to hue and saturation. And what we're going to do is we are going to pick on the yellow here and use our plus eyedropper and get all the different shades by dragging it along all those yellow shades the best we can. And then we're going to go to every single other one, which is red, starting with the red color. We're going to remove the saturation by going down there. Then we're going to go to the greens. We're going to remove the saturation off of that one. Then we're going to go to the cyan. We're going to pick each one of these. And as you can see, it's starting to get rid of everything but the yellow. Sometimes using the little touchpad on the laptops makes it a little bit hard. So as you can see here, we still have the yellow. But the problem is, is that there's a little bit of color here and there's a little bit of color here and here. So once again, I have to add another hue and saturation layer. And I have to remove the saturation from the master, which is all of it. And there's our black and white. Now if you want to punch a hole in this to let the yellows go through, you pick the paint brush right there, choose black, and paint wherever it was yellow. Do control Z real quick. Just in the parts that were yellow. On the train right there and on that particular fence. And just paint right over there and you're going to get a nice yellow color here. And now you don't have to worry about any of the trees in the background or anything. It is just your train and the fence post, which right there is yellow. Just keep punching a hole in it there. And then once again, let me go ahead and turn this layer off. You can see that all the trees are in there. And when I add another hue and saturation, all that goes away. So there it is. There's your train. There's the Statue of Liberty. And then once again, if you wanted to do it with the yellow cab, you would do it the same way. So this is Chucky. Hopefully you had a good time learning how to put a little bit of art into your photos, making them black and white with a little punch out color. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Digital Goulash. Cheers.